In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a progress gauge bar that lets you see your progress against RAG values. We're gonna go through this step-by-step step together so you can follow along and do it for yourself. All of that and more, so without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So not so long ago, I created a video that lets you create progress bars using some simple tricks with the default line chart in Power BI. So that lets you see the progress of your value against the maximum in a target. So if you haven't really seen that video and you are interested go check out that video and actually before we start i just wanted to give a huge shout out to gerard dugan because this is actually his genius solution so because i really found it super flexible and really interesting to implement so i thought i'd cover it in a video so you can find out for yourself how you can use it so i'll leave a link to his original solution in the description box below so you can check it out yourself so basically i had this situation at work i had a list of values that I was given. At the moment, we are using, you know, total sales across the different months within the company. And for each of those months, there is a target monthly value. Now, what I wanted to do was to show the progress of the sales for that month against the target monthly in a kind of progress gauge bar. And the extra requirement for this is that they want to be able to see the progress against some RAG values. So RAG means red, amber, and green, at least in the business sense. And basically, it gives your business users at a glance if that progress is you know good or not and the visual that we're going to use for at least in this case is the stacked bar chart so let's just get started with the demo here so i'm just gonna make a space somewhere here for my table so we can refer to it later and in fact we're gonna change it into a slicer anyway. So we're gonna just add a few things here so as you can see we already have the sales and the target monthly measures we're just going to create a few more measures for our RAG values. So we're going to use add red 0.33, change it into a percentage, add amber, also 0.33, and then green 0.33. And the reason why we're creating these partitions is so that they are evenly distributed in a bar chart when we visualize them. They're also separated so that we can create different colors for each of these different areas. And they will serve as sort of the, the background to show the progress and where that progress fits in this rag gauge. So we're going to choose the stacked bar chart here. And then we're just going to start adding some of these calculations in this. So we'll start with the red amber and green so i'm just gonna make some space here and uh okay so it doesn't quite look like progress gauge yet so we're gonna just do a few formatting things here so we're gonna remove a few things like the titles the legends remove the axes because those are sort of irrelevant for us we're gonna also change or reduce the paddings just to make some more space for the bars so yeah, so just remove the paddings on the top and the bottom. So that way you can kind of reduce the size of this progress gauge and kind of maximize the space that you're using in it. And then the next thing, we are just going to start changing the colors for each of these areas. Now, we for each of these measures is 0 0.33 because we want to, it to add up to 100%. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bars going to change the colors to the right colors that we expect. So red, amber, and green, something like this. So now we've created the sort of the, the rag part. Now we want to create the progress. So where the progress lies in this gauge. So we're going to do that by creating it into a measure and then putting it as part of the chart. So we're going to start by creating a new measure here. I'm going to call it progress. And uh, what we're going to do is start with a variable because I want to just store the percentage here. We're going to use it in an if statement. So it's much more efficient this way. So we're going to get the calculation here for the progress. So sales against target monthly. 
And the reason why we want to wrap it into an if statement is because you will have instances where the months will have more sales, significantly more sales than what is in the target monthly. So in those cases, we just want to make sure that if it does exceed the target monthly value that we just want to put the, the progress on the very highest parts of our bar chart. So in this if statement, we're going to say if the value is greater than one, that's not greater, greater than one, then leave it to one else. Give me the percentage. So now that that is done, let's just test and see if that is showing or should be showing the right value. So let's put it into a, a table. Let's just change it into a percentage. And then let's bring in the monthly slicer. So this is the slicer that lets you select the months and change it into a vertical list. So if we choose, let's say a good one would be this one, March 1997. So 39,000 pounds in sales is 57% against the target, which is 70,000. So I think it's working as expected. I just want to see how it works on sales with a super high sales than the target. So let me just check which one. Here we go. So this has a bit, little bit more than what is in the target and it's the target or the progress is showing 100% regardless. So this is the behavior that we want. So now that we've done that, we simply just go back to this stacked bar chart. And we're going to go to the reference line. I'm going to add the line and we're going to choose a constant line to add here. And under the value, we're going to choose conditional formatting. And then from here, we're going to base the field value on that progress. So as you can see, what it will do is it will add this line in here. So it's giving us 100%, which is like at the very end of our rag. I'm just going to make it a little bit more prominent. So make it black, make it solids and make it not transparent. And we're just going to add a data label on it. So we're going to say the data or the style of it should be either the name, so the target or both. I'm just going to rename that into progress. There we go. So if we choose a different month here, there we go. So as you can see, it shows you where that progress is against the rag bar and it gives you the percentage on the data label, which is super handy. Now, what I really, really like about this solution is that it's super flexible with um, kind of how you visualize it because it's using a sort of default visual. So for example, at the moment, like it's using a horizontal stacked bar chart, but I believe if you just convert this into a stacked one, it gives you kind of the same effects. So it gives you your progress against rag. So it's giving you green, amber, and red, and then the progress bar or the progress line, the same way that you would see it on the sideways version. Another thing that you can customize here are the number of thresholds that you want in your gauge. So for example, and just in this instance, we had our scenario to be showing the red, amber and green values, but you might instead, for example, want to add a different color, or maybe you have more thresholds than this. Uh, in which case you just simply make sure you add another measure and change a different color and it will just, you'll be able to just use it here. As long as all of those measures add up to 100%, it should kind of match up or be correct data-wise. Another thing is that the thresholds that you have, so for example, here in our charts, doesn't need to be all equally distributed. So for example, the moment each of these measures are 33%, because it's like 100% divided by three. However, let's say you have a bigger total tolerance and you might want your green to be up to 50%. We'll change the amber to 25 and then the red to 25. 
So as you can see, as long as your sections add up to 100%, you can adjust kind of how big those thresholds are or how many thresholds you might want to use. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to create something like a progress gauge chart in Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so you have to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.